Hello, my name is Tina Leader, and I'm going to do a quick disclaimer really fast. I don't usually drink wine or alcohol in general, but when I do, I drink red wine. So I am demonstrating from a red wine glass here. Let me just explain to you the anatomy of a wine glass before we get into it. First of all, in this scenario, there is a stem, there's a base, and then there's the cup, of course. Now, the reasoning why it is the way that it is in shape form is that the stem is made so you don't have a heat transfer that happens between your hand and the wine. So in general, we do hold it by the stem for that reason. The wine is seemingly at a perfect temperature and you go ahead and drink. Now, if for some reason the wine is cooled, it's too cold, whatever it is, you can hold it like so. Now, just know that when you hold it like this, that the hand does a natural heat transfer into or onto the wine. So just be aware of that when you do that. And then once it's at a great temperature for you and your liking, then you could go ahead and hold it by the stem. Now, there are the James Bond of the world and the rebels of the world who hold it by the base. Now, this is perfectly okay to do, Personally, I would be very nervous, especially if you're doing red wine and there's a rug around or something of that scenario. But if you are confident in doing this and you can walk around and you can drink like so, then go ahead. There's nothing wrong with it. It just makes me personally nervous, but there's nothing wrong with it. It may, it may make other people nervous as well. All right. So in a normal scenario, you do hold it by the stem. And there you go. That is how you hold a wine glass. If you found this helpful and you want to know any other dining etiquette, then click on my dining etiquette playlist and subscribe, of course, and I will see you on the next video.